<laughs> Why am I laughing? I don't know. Oh, I'm the only one laughing in the whole world. <laughs> and he made the world laugh with him, both on the set. There's still a tiny bit on fire there. Oh, geez. Okay, thanks. Okay. <laughs> during interviews. What do you think Joey would be doing in 2021? <laughs> Let's recall the funniest moments with the one-of-a-kind Matthew Perry. Caution, these videos are sure to put a huge smile on your face. Uh, oh, oh, um, no you didn't, I did. Oh, uh, uh, oh, no, 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 uh, uh, uh. <laughs> the entire Friends cast brought us a lot of laughter. It was funny, it was just funny all the way through, all 237 episodes but it was Perry who possessed a unique talent for brightening the atmosphere. X camera, you good? X camera, you good? <laughs> what do you say, big guy, huh, huh, huh? What are you doing? I have no idea. It was quite common for people to start laughing even before Matthew uttered a word. Did you tell her what we talked about? <laughs> Matthew's comical gestures and expressions were just infectious, so keeping a straight face was simply impossible. Monica's gonna have the phone in the right place. Yeah. We are fixing it. <laughs> He's gone. He's gone. <laughs> <laughs> and just picture adding a ridiculous costume to that mix. Oh God, Chandler is doing his sex face. <laughs> Hard to say how many times that scene had to be reshot. After all, David Schwimmer had to ask Matthew to stop making everyone laugh. <laughs> Just for now, don't make any faces. <laughs> you think he listened? The answer is obviously no. Because the actor took great pleasure in teasing his fellow cast members. Our last dinner together, me bringing the food of all. <laughs> okay. Here's how I know you're lying. How, you <laughs> And Monica, his on-screen love, was especially prone to these antics. No, we cannot let her stay because if we let her stay, she will stay here forever. <laughs> For instance, during one scene, Courtney Cox accidentally looked into the camera. I can't believe, I just looked right at you, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I just gave a little double date to the game. Did Matthew miss an opportunity to tease her? Not a chance. His reaction was lightning fast. I can't believe Emma's still asleep. I know. What are we going to do? <laughs> In another scene, Courtney had trouble delivering her line about chocolate bars. Tell me what the note is. No, no, I, 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 okay, good, because I'd keep doing it the same way. Little... After multiple takes, Matthew had reached his limit. I've got two Clark bars. We know already. <laughs> Or here, during Monica and Chandler's conversation about buying a house, the actor once again didn't hold back. This time, his trademark naughty jokes came out. I think we should. I do too. Oh my God, it's huge. Thanks. <laughs> Emotional, sarcastic, sometimes even too much. It was like he didn't even have to act the part of Chandler. He lived it. Which of you is most like your character on television? Chandler. Definitely. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Matthew. Uh, Matthew. Like I said, right? Yeah, my real name's Matthew. By the way, Matthew himself was pranked from time to time as well. What? I kept all of our secrets. I'm an excellent secret keeper. <laughs> what? I'm an excellent secret keeper. I've kept all of our secrets. What secrets? <laughs> But, you know, he always found amusing ways out of the situations. In fact, the actor had a knack for improvisation, even when interacting with a child. Well, just tell Joey that you like the tape and your boss, right? <laughs> just tell Joey that... <sighs> I know she's cute, but I really I'm could sorry. use some advice. Everyone knew the actor was skilled at thinking on his feet. So, occasionally, the writers would harness this to their advantage. Like in this scene, for example. I can't believe Ross and Rachel got married. I know. I didn't even know they were dating again. I don't think there's much dating as they are drunk. The team wasn't pleased with that final line, but they couldn't think of anything better. So they turned to Perry for assistance. And this is the result. 
Well, I don't think they're as much dating as they are two bottles of vodka walking around in human form. <laughs> so much better. By the way, the scene in which Rachel Ross and Chandler bring in the couch was also meant to be improvised, but things didn't go quite as planned. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Fortunately, Chandler wasn't pinned down, and it ended like always, with the actors bursting into laughter. <laughs> And do you think Matthew only got anxious when he heard, take? Actually, there was a lot more happening beyond Friends, too. I mean, wouldn't you say of, your, of the people in the cast so far, your favorite would, is me? Yeah. See? See what I mean? Our favorite Perry had a real penchant for disrupting interviews. For instance, he simply strolled right into a shot of Matt LeBlanc eating an ice cream. How do you think the last episode of Friends would be? for you? I don't know, it'd be kind of kind of sad. We've all grown so close over the years, you know, it's, a, it's not something I'm looking forward to. I think it'd be all right. Yeah. See you, man. <laughs> and here, he decided to liven up an interview with Jennifer Aniston. Sorry, we just gotta get through. <laughs> I gotta get hey, through. Porky, what you okay, so anyway, what were you asking? Ignore them. So, so, Sorry. So, so, okay. Okay. <clears throat> what were you saying? I can't. Matthew Perry's interviews were far from ordinary, too. Can I do one thing? Sure, Can I just do one thing? I promised my agent that I would come out tonight and look like a playwright. So, yeah. Okay, thanks. Wow, that is fantastic. Here's the funny man talking about working with his fellow actors. Yeah, I'm pretty much sick of everybody by now. But I mean, the first couple of weeks was really great. And uh, now kind of it's like, hello, back off. You know, just work, because I'm pretty tired of everybody now. But of course it was all in good fun. In reality, he simply had a deep love for friends. No, we're, we're getting along great, we're having a great time. We hope to do this for six or seven years, or eight. In the end, they remained together for a remarkable 10 seasons. Just imagine how many jokes Matthew must have cracked during that time. Like here, where he discussed little Ben with a completely grave face. In fact, Ben was just a breastfeeding baby at that time. I think his deal is a little bit better than mine. I think he's, he, the, yeah, the actor is. playing <laughs> Ben is, uh, he's slated to direct a couple episodes, isn't he? He's gonna, yeah, he's gonna direct episodes three through six. I guess we just got canceled. <laughs> Of course, the main cast was used to these kinds of jokes from Matthew. That's, that's what it is. I'm a professional. They say, come to the set. I come to the set. Lisa's not a professional. She wants to keep on going. But the other actresses, well, they weren't always prepared. She just told me that it's the greatest, been the greatest week of her entire life. They did? stuck with me. Well, yeah, remember? Remember? Because we, yeah. Yeah. She doesn't remember, okay. but she did say it. She did I say it. I thought I said that to the other guy. No, no, no. No, no, that was me. Indeed, Perry's stories had the ability to leave us in shock at times, in a good way. Take, for instance, his unforgettable tale about watching adult movies in the 90s. There was no woman in my life at the time, so I decided I was gonna take care of my little problem by watching some porn. <laughs> right, right? Sure. You're with me, aren't yeah. you, audience? Yeah. Right. yeah. After some time, the actor tried to turn off the film, but he couldn't, nor could he turn down the volume. And I'm like, what is going on? What the hell is happening? And then I remember that the night before, I'd gone out into my backyard with a glass of wine and listened to music. And then I realized that for the last hour, I've been blasting a porno out of my outdoor <laughs> studio, all the way down into the San Fernando Valley. And of course, we can't forget the iconic interview when the cast reunited in 2021. The male members of Friends answered some questions. Schwimmer discussed how great it was for them to work together again. And just look at Perry at that moment. I remember being incredibly impressed with the other five actors. He still didn't stop waving his arms. We really, we really got close because of that experience too. Oh goodness, the actor was trying to calm people down on the set, but didn't realize he was also being recorded. Huh? Are you in a three-shot seeing me do that? <laughs> I think so. I look crazy. <laughs> Oops. What happened next? Just like the good old times. 
I've heard that a lot. I'm gonna do this while Matthew's talking. <laughs> so. <laughs> Just give Matthew a way to have fun and he'll make the most of it. What do you think Joey would be doing in 2021? Incredibly, right up until the end, Matthew tried to handle everything with a lighthearted approach. He even referred to his therapy as a fun experience. Everybody shares like a common bond, this, uh, this sort of X factor. They, it really is a funny place to be, even in real life. And we've figured out why. It was vital for him to spread joy to people. I felt like I was gonna die if they didn't laugh. And it's not healthy, for sure. But Matthew Perry always made us laugh, and he always will. He'll forever remain a funny and kind friend in our hearts. And we already miss him dearly. What's your favorite Matthew Perry moment? Share your answer in the comments.